Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thank you for joining me today. A couple days ago, or even yesterday, I can't remember what day it was, I had posted an unboxing and a reveal for the April Showers May Flower and May Flowers a design kit for uh, from the Brilliant Minds of Danielle Wicks and Carol Carmen. And I will put a link to Danielle's Etsy shop, a direct link to this actual design kit. And this is what I didn't share this in my unboxing, but you know, I get you get step by step instructions on their their idea for and their intent for the design kit. Again, you can do it however way you wish. I decided to go ahead and do things the way that it was intended in the kit. I will tell you, I did a couple of different little, I used a couple of different components. So here, here are all of the head pins with ball, the bald head pins. So I have these all left over. These are in a shiny silver. And what I did was for the, cause these were gonna be used for these little, these little tiny flowers. And what I did was, because I didn't want, I don't know, I just wanted to have them. I did the balls for these and I just wanted to mix it up and do um, the flat for these, um, these little coin beads and these little tiny ones. So that that is one thing I did differently was that I did use um, flat head pins for my stash because I have a different idea. I want to use, I don't have any of these bright, shiny head pins with balls. And so I want to save them for my stash because I'm going to be using them for something else. And with that said, I did not use the shiny oval jump rings. I used jump rings from my stash because I want to keep those. I don't have any shiny oval jump rings. Then I also wanted to keep the shiny, this is a shiny silver. This is the a 22 gauge wire that it came with. I went ahead and used wire from my own stash. Then I also have some flat head pins left over and I have um, some links of chain left over that I will put in my stash to keep for later. I also have a few um, of these little bellflower beads. I have those left over. That is from the necklace because I didn't load up as many as um, as in the design just because I, I don't know. I'm probably going to go back and add these. Not sure yet. Only because these, I didn't use these in the bracelet and here's why. I want to use these in a pair of earrings because I have some copper charms that I want to use and I have some copper wire and I want to use these in um, a different pair of earrings. So that's the joy of these designs is that you can uh, do them exactly the same way. You can throw them off a little bit or you and do your own thing or you can do exactly as, um, as planned. So I'm going to go ahead and go step by step of what I did. And you're gonna hear a little bit of nature outside. We have the windows open and we had a little bit of rain today. So I wanna smell the rain and um, just wanna hear all the birds and everything going on. And then you're gonna hear lawn mowers and probably my husband's out back planting tomatoes. So you'll hear a little bit of that in between. But these are the um, melon teardrop beads and this is the pair of earrings. And I uh, did the wire wrapping. I am a huge, fan of wire wrap loops. Here's why. I did wire wrap loops, which that is kind of like the theme. I'm going to I'm going to just put that as the theme for this uh kit. Not sure if that's what was intended for, but when I am doing my loops, for one thing, I'm not very good at single wrap. I mean at the simple loops. So I'm more comfortable with the wrap loops. Also, do you think that bad boy is gonna come off? It's not gonna come off unless something happens to the chain. And that is, this is a pretty incredible chain too. So um, it's just added security. Plus I love how it looks. It looks so sleek. It adds a little bit of texture. And then the ear wires also came with the kit. So um, I will put a link to the, you're gonna hear cars driving by too, sorry about that. But I'm gonna put a link to my unboxing as well. So I'm gonna put 
tons of links in the description for you. And these earrings just turned out so beautiful. And it just looks really great. And if you want to use simple loops, use simple loops, whatever you're most comfortable with. So here's the here's another thing I wanted to go go with with this comfort zone type thing is that when I got the kit last month, I knew there was going to be seed beading. For me, when I hear Danielle Wicks, I think of seed beading. So I was like, okay, I just need to get out of my comfort zone. So for all of you Danielle Wicks followers and fans and admirers, um, and you open this up and go, oh no, I don't have, you know, I, I'm, I'm not a wire wrapper. Listen, you'll be a wire wrapper after this. And um, it's just absolutely incredible. And that's what I love about the, the collaboration um, with Danielle Wicks and with Danielle Wicks, that was our male guy, uh, with Danielle Wicks and Carol Carmen, because they bring so much together. Their two minds, uh, you know, forming a box is just absolutely amazing. So again, I pegged this box as the wire wrapping box. So, and that's what I did. I wire wrapped and I did before wrapping, I applied the, um, I uh, looped in the, um, the little uh, loop before I started wrapping. And I'm gonna have a little bit of a demonstration for you with that right now. So now we're gonna go ahead and make our wrap loops and attach them directly onto the chain. The first thing we need is this 90 degree angle bend in our head pin. So you can do that by, one of the ways is by taking your chain nose pliers, just the very tippy tip of it, and then give it a bend. And you have that 90 degree angle bend. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab your round nose pliers, come in and um, put that bottom barrel through and get it to the, air, the same point that you want. Then take that wire and form it on the top barrel. Then give yourself a little twist so that you can get your wire to the tail to come around. Go ahead and get it all centered up. Make sure your tail is going straight out the back. And there you go. Now all that we can, all that we have to do now is grab our chain nose pliers just to open that loop up just a little bit to make it easier for you to apply it to your chain. So here we have one already set up. Now it's about the placement on the chain with the links. I have all of the larger uh, dangles on facing one way link and then the smaller uh, the smaller dangles are going to go opposite. So here we go here. I'm going to go up at the top and pass that through. And now we have our loop. The chain is inside the loop. Come with your chain nose pliers very carefully over the loop. Do not put your chain nose pliers over where the wires meet. Now go ahead and grab your bent chain nose pliers or any other chain nose pliers or even your round nose pliers, and carefully now wrap around that um, neck that you have formed. And I let go each time I go around the uh, around my loop, because um, I don't want to break and snap the head pin. Now, with your flush side of your cutters, go ahead and just give that a little trim, and be sure to cover that up so it doesn't go flying all over everywhere. Now we have that little piece of the tail that we want to tuck in. And so go ahead and grab your chain nose pliers and just with the tippy tip of your chain nose pliers, gently squeeze down, making sure not to damage your bead. And now we, and then you give the little finger test and now we have all of our dangles all put together perfectly. Okay. Then I attached the lobster clasp that came with the kit. And then I added my own uh, jump ring here. And um, again, you have plenty of jump rings in the kit to use to um, add the charms and stuff like that. I just chose to, um, I, I just, I wanted to keep the those bright silvers all in one because I have something else I wanna do. Because if you watch my unboxing, you'll see Jen has a lot of extra stuff from Danielle Wicks that she's got to put together. So that's what I'm going to do. So look at that just turned out so pretty. And what I did was, you know, when I'm putting these together, I'm very 
aware of, okay, so where's the loop? Well, the loop is this way here, right? And so that's how I applied all of the larger beads. The little tiny ones went on this loop, but in the opposite direction. So then all of them will be in the same way. They're not gonna be all this one on this side, this one on this side. They're all going in the same direction. So I spent some time, as you can see, look how they, how they lay there. And so I spent quite a bit of time just doing it, but it's really super easy because you just put up your chain and then just pass your your little um, head pin through that you've already got the loop started on. So beautiful. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have our necklace that has this gorgeous charm. This beautiful, beautiful flower bead. And it's transparent and has um, kind of a light, light, light blue. And then I made the little dangles and I wire wrapped the dangles directly onto the chain. There's like a four link chain here. I did do a simple loop here at the bottom just because I wanted my, um, my beautiful textured wrap up at the top and I didn't want to take away from these gorgeous beads down here by having another gorgeous wrap, right? So I did a simple loop down here and attached all of that there. Then, Again, in the directions that it will tell you, cut 11 four link sections. Then I just wire wrapped, and I wire wrapped directly. Sorry about that. And I wire wrapped uh, directly onto the chain. And just gorgeous colors, and you can arrange them however you wish. And then I think it said 24 links at the end. I went ahead and just whatever I had left, I just, um, you know, uh, halved that up and then added my, um, my lobster clasp and a jump ring. The lobster clasp came in the kit. The jump ring is what I added. So if you haven't gone and grabbed and snagged this design kit yet, jump on over to Danielle's um, Etsy shop. I will put a link directly to this kit. Check out all of her other stuff. She has some amazing products. She carries um, the Tierra Cast lines, and so and Tierra Cast is my favorite. That's no secret. And she has all these beautiful beads. If you did not, if you did not get the March, the March kit, she does have some beads and some of the components from the March kit available on her website as well or her uh, Etsy shop. So be sure to like and comment. I read all my comments and I've had so many comments from yet yeah, uh, from the unboxing. Some that said, I went and bought your kit, this kit because of your video. And that's what I love to hear. So I hope that that continues. So again, please comment, like, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'm approaching 600 subscribers and super excited about it. So until next time, have a good one.